Hello there guys, welcome back to another video. Today we will go over the lightsaber combat in LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. First we will talk about all the abilities the saber characters have and powerful combinations that you can use. Additionally I have some tips on how to defeat the end bosses faster and more efficiently. But let's start with the abilities. Well, first of all, there obviously is the basic lightsaber attack. It does medium damage and gets boring after a short period of time, so luckily there are way more attack options for you, but you can see examples of this attack in the gameplay. The next ability you have is the ability to block unfriendly attacks. The block looks like this and you can deflect blaster shots back to where they came from and also some lightsaber attacks. As you can see there's a blocking animation that all the characters have and when you're in combat the block is really important to deflect blaster shots and you should definitely use this ability as much as you can to defend yourself and not lose stats all the time. You can see more examples of the block in these clips. The next ability is dodging. Dodging is really important in the boss fights and can be used as a quick and safe way to get to or away from your opponents. All you have to do is hold the block button and press the jump button while you choose the direction. So you can dodge to the left, to the right or make a really cool backflip. Either way you should definitely use the dodges in combat. In the gameplay you can see how important dodging really is and I can only advise you to use this as much as you can. Moving on to the next power, let's talk about the lightsaber throw. This is really one of the strongest attacks in my opinion because it has a pretty great range and deals a lot of damage, especially in the boss fights, but we will talk about that later. Anyway, in order to use this you just have to press a certain button, on PlayStation it's R2, so no button combination is needed, but I recommend you to throw your lightsaber while you are blocking. I just feel more safe then and I can't get damaged right before and after I throw my lightsaber, so yeah that's a little advice I can give you and all in all that is a really powerful attack. Moreover, you can use the Area of Effect ability. All characters can do this and it also is very strong and obviously very useful when you want to damage a group of people standing close together or something else in a small area. You can see in the clips how it damages everyone around me and not just one person. You can use this attack by jumping in the air and then press the button that you usually use the force with and then your character will smash his lightsaber or something else into the ground and make the area of effect damage. Besides, this can also be used to farm stats more quickly Instead of destroying everything with the basic attack, you can use the area of effect damage to destroy several things in one attack. The following ability is probably used the most in combat. The jump attack and the following combo is immensely superior to the basic lightsaber attack. You can deal way more damage and move way faster, so it is a lot harder to hit you. How it works is, you just jump in the air in front of your enemy and then you press the button for the basic attack. You can actually press it several times for a strong combo. As you can see in the footage, this attack is extremely useful and powerful and also looks really cool.
Another really cool feature is the force push ability. It is pretty simple to use it. Whenever something is blue, you can press the force button. At PlayStation it's the circle. So when you see this blue stuff on the top of the heads of your enemies, you can just press the force button and your enemies will fly away. And also, as you can see, you can also hold stuff or people in the air and then throw them at something else, for instance other people, and then they will also be destroyed. Or you can finish them off with another attack. There are a lot of really cool combinations of your abilities. The next and last ability is the counter attack. It looks very cool and smooth, but honestly, as I have seen it so far, the damage output is pretty low and you often don't see the enemies for a moment after that because they were so close and got out of the camera zoom, so you have to turn around and other enemies can shoot you. So anyway, I am skeptical about this ability, but it's still a nice feature. Now let us move on to the boss fights, the real lightsaber combat in this game. There are some things that you definitely want to avoid while you are in these fights and there are some nice tricks and certain useful abilities that will let you defeat your enemies easily. So which abilities are the best in the boss fights? I personally always use the lightsaber throw. It is really useful, it has a great range and does a lot of damage. So just dodge away from your enemies and use the lightsaber throw all the time. That is really important. You can't just spam the basic lightsaber attack or the jump attack because if you do that you will die pretty easily because your enemy always does more damage than you. So you have to play with patience and be careful. So just dodge away, throw your lightsaber, dodge away and throw your lightsaber. And here you can see what happens if you just swing your lightsaber at your opponent. You will die in no time. You also can of course use other abilities. For instance you can throw stuff at your opponents. That is also really useful. But in my experience you make the most damage by just dodging away and throwing your lightsaber. And sometimes a bit of the jump attacks. And then you have to dodge away and throw your lightsaber again sometimes. And yeah, all in all I think that is a really good strategy to fight these bosses and I can really recommend to do it this way. Here you can see a few more examples of this with Obi-Wan and also with Yoda. So it's basically the same with every character. Sometimes you can attack normally, as I said, but you shouldn't do it too much, otherwise you will die really quick. Here you can see me throwing some stuff at Anakin, that also works really well sometimes. Sometimes they also block the lightsaber throw, then you have to attack or wait for a better opportunity. Sometimes you also have to deflect lightning attacks from your opponents. Then you have to move the yellow circle onto your opponent and reflect the lightning back to them. And then they will get damaged. And at the end I have one more little tip for you. You can actually pull out and put away your lightsaber with the push of a button. It's the circle on PlayStation, so you don't have to run around with your lightsaber all the time. And you can pull it out at any moment to make a nice picture or something. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope I could help you out. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next one.